Good day everyone, I am Sheila Maysonienko, your discussion for today. Today, I'm going to report about the 8 aspect of voice usage and 4 aspect of bodily action under chapter 11 which is delivery. We have 8 aspect of voice usage. First is the volume, pitch, rate, pauses, vocal variety, pronunciation, articulation, and dialect. Speaker voice that voice that produced by this physical process will greatly affect the success of the speeches. So the speaker voice of you know a person or someone that you don't see but you hear his or her voice, you will notice who are they. A voice is also our identity. We have a similarity with others but we have a unique voice. So first is volume. Volume, it is a powerful voice, was essential for an orator. So volume, in other conference like meeting, they usually use amplification or microphone with speaker so that they would clearly hear what the speaker is saying. And for the audience, far from the speaker, it is different in the classroom which the room has only four-sided corner. And it is clearly you heard what the teacher or the speaker is saying. But the only difficult thing of not using microphones in the classroom is you need to raise your voice louder. So next is pitch. Pitch, it is a higher or lowerness of the speaker voice. In this pitch, pitch may affect the meaning of the word or sounds. Asking a question to someone with a higher voice may be sarcastic to others. For example, if you are asking where did you go, you need to lower your voice because if you make a higher voice, they may think you are mad. So next is rate. Rate refers to the speed at which a person speaks. Rate. It is the speed of speech depend on the situation. For example, an average speaker have a 120 to 150 words per second. But that's not clear for the other audience. But again, it depends on the situation or the speaker. The lesser words per minute, the more they understand the words. But do not be slow, they may be bored. You just need to balance the rate of your speech. So next is poses. Learning how and when to pose is major challenge for most beginning speaker. So poses, for example, you are the audience and you are listening to the speaker. You must notice where did he or she stop on her or his thoughts when she or he was speaking. It is important to have a practice on how to pose when it needed because they will understand it clearly and the other manners that when you are speaking avoid to say the words um eh, mm, because it may be have negative perception about the speaker intelligence so vocal variety this is a variety the spice of life so it is the spice of the public speaking a flat listless Unchanging voice is just as deadly to speech making as a plot. Listless, unchanging routine is to daily life. So vocal variety, by learning how to properly doing vocal variety, you must need to feel them what you are saying by tone, pitch, and volume of your speech. When you are practicing vocal variety, you need to change your pitch, volume, and pace. And if you want to enhance your vocal charisma, you need to listen to the other great speaker and imitate them. Next is pronunciation. Most people recognize and understand many more words in reading rather than they use in ordinary writing and about three times as many as occur in spontaneous speech. So pronunciation. We have a different pronunciation depends on the place. The commonly language that we use is English. Pronunciation of English or American are different from the English UK. It is not just an action, accent, it is also how they pronounce the words. For example, the word February is commonly pronounced it as February, but the proper pronunciation is February. So, next is articulation. It is one of several causes of mispronunciation, but you can 
articulate a word sharply and still mispronounce it. In articulation, it is like in pronunciation, which includes how to properly pronounce the words. Example, the misarticulation of word will you pronounce as will ya. The word let me pronounce become lemme. And last, the dialect. Most languages have dialect, each with the distinctive accent, grammar, and vocabulary. We have the four aspects of body action. First is personal appearance, movement, gesture, and eye-to-eye -eye contact. So next is personal appearance. A number of studies have confirmed that personal appearance plays an important role in speech making. So when it comes in personal appearance, of course, being a professional, you want to look as a presentable to the audience which their eyes on you. Imagine if you are wearing shorts or t-shirt while having your speech, it may cause a negative comments or they will not listen to you. Just have a good clean look and proper attire make a plus for the audience to listen to the speaker. So movement, as important as how you act during the speech, is what you do just before you begin and after you finish. So movement, Improper movements make irritable to the audience's eyes. We all know that being a speaker is not easy. Sometimes you forget what you are doing while you are standing in front because of fear and nervous. For example, hands are in the pocket, movement of feet, shaking hands. All you need to do before you start to speak, try to calm yourself, be comfortable, and be confident. So next is gesture. It tends to work itself out as you acquire experience and confidence. So gesture. Like in movement, gesture is also need to learn while speaking in front of audience. Many of speakers do an improper movement and forget his or her gesture. Try not to play with your hands or the other movements that may distract you. Just focus on what you are saying or talk. Do not distract yourself. And last, eye-to-eye -eye contact. By manipulating the eyeball and the areas of the face around it, we convey an intricate array of nonverbal message. Eye-to-eye -eye contact. The most important thing when you are speaking in front is the eye-to-eye -eye contact with your audience. Eye-to-eye -eye contact means you are delivering a message to your audience. While you are speaking, is a communication between you and the audience. Avoid looking up or down. Just try to have communication from eye to eye and they will catch you.